All right, here's my Brown Series 5 5018S Shaver. This is the unboxing. Um, it comes in a pretty nice box for gift wrapping. I really like the blue colors of black and blue. A lot of the brown razors are coming out with. Here's the manual on the way up on top. I already went through it quite a bit. I'm not a big fan of the brown instructions because they have all these pictures you're supposed to try to figure out, which you would think with pictures it would be easier, but here's the main razor. And I'll get this stuff unpackaged real quick. Alright, there it is. It comes with the manual, the main razor, uh, charger, charging cord. This is a brush. You're actually just supposed to uh, clean the blades, brush the blades off with it. Here's the uh, trimmer attachment you can put on it. So the end of it just, or the cover just pops off. It's just a protective cover. And then to clean the hair out of it while you're using it, you just it just pops right off. There's not even any buttons to release it. And, uh, this is the uh, trimmer. It just pops right on if you want to use the trimmer. There's not any adjustments to the trimmer on this one, which is a uh, one downside, I guess. If so you can just pop the trimmer right back off and put the uh, shaver right back on. It actually has uh, two rods coming out that plug into the uh, razors on this one. It says to charge it for an hour before you use it. So here you see me plugging it into the razor and then you just plug it into the wall. That's pretty much it as far as the cord goes. And then it just ha does have a meter on it. It was showing uh, two lights right away. You can just turn it off. And it, it shows you there it's got a little symbol that you know not to shave with it plugged in. So, but if you uh, just plug it into the wall, the battery meter will actually pop up on its own and it shows two lights out of three. So, it actually had a really good charge before I even plugged it in. So, here I'm just trying to show you to just plug it into the wall and leave it. Okay, here we go with the live shift. <clears throat> It's having a little bit of trouble. There's quite a bit of spring in this, so I am having to push down a little bit hard. Let's see how much hair's gotten trapped already. Not much, so that's definitely not an issue. Pretty smooth so far. Uh, it's pulling out my hair a little bit. I have to press down a little hard because of the spring. But let's see if it's trapped on hair yet. Not really. So as soon as I get done with this, I'll use my Panasonic Arc Five on the other side of my face.
Well, there you go. It's definitely a safe razor to buy. Definitely top performance. I'll switch over and compare it to the Panasonic Arc 5 that I regularly use. I'm going to show you a difference real quick. This is the Braun Razor. It's got these two rods that slide into these uh, blades here. You attach it. The razor that I normally use is called a Panasonic Arc 5. You can see here the blades stay attached. So sure they're fairly easy to replace anyways and then the cover actually pops on over those so that is the major difference between those this one does have as much spring but I'm pretty sure that's going to be the difference so go ahead and start with the live shave with this Okay, well I'm all done. Uh, the bronze shaver actually did a better job. A little bit more skin irritation, but it's probably from doing a better job of shaving. Uh, they're pretty close, not much difference, but uh, the brown one was definitely just a tiny bit better. I don't do the uh, wet shaves with the uh, electric razors anymore. I just think it's a waste of time. So I would definitely buy the uh, brown razor. So this is the razor that I do still use, even though I like the ele uh, electric tinfoil razors, I don't like the electric rotary shavers. I still use the uh, Gillette Fusion Pro Glide 5 blade power, I believe it's what it's called, it just uses a AAA battery. And then the blades actually last a pretty long time, so it might be cheaper in the long run to buy an electric razor, but 
These aren't too pricey. The blades are a little bit expensive, but it just vibrates as you're shaving. Uh, I still use this even over electric razors.